This here is a very powerful Dell laptop. It's the Inspiron 16 Plus. The model is 7610. It's also in the mist blue color. It has a 16 inch 3K display with a resolution of 3072 by 1920. It is also powered by the Intel Core i7 11800H processor, has 32 gigabytes of memory, one terabyte SSD, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 with a six gigabytes graphics. It's also running Windows 11 Home, wireless and Bluetooth, SD card reader, HDMI and Thunderbolt 4, backlit keyboard, fingerprint reader as well. Comes with a one year limited hardware warranty. I also got this from Costco, so we should be getting two year warranty. Without further to do, this is the packaging. Pretty simple cardboard box with the specs on the sides. Let's get this opened. We're here to help. Here's kind of what it looks like when you open it. On the right side, we have some of its cables. Pretty big power adapter. Nothing else inside here. This here should be the laptop itself. There we have it. Go ahead and put this to the side. We also have some instructions, Inspiron 16, 7610. There's one more paperwork. That is the warranty, safety, and regulatory information. That's pretty much it. Let's put this box away. So this is the 130 watt power adapter, and this is the connector it uses to charge. Looks like it has an illumination that's going to illuminate. This is the cable, so it will connect over here and then to the outlet. It's a three pong. Open it up. On the right side, seems like we have some exhausts, an SD card reader, USB port, 3.5 millimeter jack. Here's the back. It has quite a bit of ventilation, as you can see. I mean, it is a very powerful laptop. On the left side, we have the power port, more cooling vents, HDMI, USB, USB-C. Looks like this will illuminate. And then here is the front. This is the bottom. It actually is pretty solidly built. Dell over here. So let's get this turned on for the first time. has all of the specs over here. It has a camera privacy shutter, so I didn't know that exists, which is right here. You can actually cover the camera. That's pretty cool. Here's the fingerprint. It also has a sticker there, low blue light hardware solution, Nvidia RTX Studio, Intel Core i7. Here seems to be the speakers. The display itself, it has like this matte look. So you're not gonna see a lot of glare. So it's like empty glare. The trackpad is also really nice. Pretty nice overall. So let's set this up for the first time. I believe that should be the power button. I don't see anywhere else. It's possibly out of battery, so let's plug it in. Okay, so I was right. It does illuminate white once it's plugged in to the wall. So let's plug it into the laptop and see if anything changes. It's probably gonna change the color, I hope. Probably not. All right. Okay, so that is the power button. It just was out of battery. So let's get this set up. Dell. The construction is really nice. The keyboard feels great. It is not a touch screen. Okay, so is this the right country? No, it is not. We're gonna scroll up and select Canada. Hit yes. The display is amazing, you guys. Wow. This is an impressive display. Second keyboard layout. We're gonna skip this for now. Let's connect you to a network. It's gonna connect to my Wi-Fi. Type in the password. Let's hit next. Please keep your PC on. Good things coming your way. Just a moment. The mouse is pretty controllable. Okay, please review the license agreement. We're gonna hit accept. Enter your name. Hit next. Enter password. Hit next. Confirm password. 
Now add security questions, just in case you forget your password. So we can have some security questions. Let's see if this is optional. It is not optional. You have to get uh, three looks like. For this video, we're just gonna type in one. And then two. And of course, three. And we can change this later. Want to use your fingerprint to sign in faster and more securely? Of course, let's set up. Touch the fingerprint sensor. Okay. Hit next. Now try another angle. Maybe this way. There we go. That's it. You're all set. Let's hit next. Now add the pin. Next. For the pin, let's go one, two, three, four, five, six for now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's hit okay. Really? It cannot be. Wow. Include letters and symbols. We'll just put 16 plus. And then hit OK. And of course, you can change this later, which I will be going and doing later on. Let Microsoft and apps use your location. So you can say yes or no. Find my device, turn on find my device and use your device location data to help you find your device. If you lose it, you must sign into Windows with your Microsoft account to use this feature. We can do all of this later, send diagnostics and all that stuff. We're gonna do required only, improve inking and typing, choose your settings, then select accept to save them, send optional inking and typing diagnostic data. We're gonna go with no for now, let's hit accept. Let Microsoft use your diagnostic data. We're going to go no for now. Let apps use advertising ID. Not for now. And uh, now we can type in the name, which you have to. Oh, you don't have to. All right. Uh, my information is correct. Configure your support protection and communication preferences. Let's hit next. Checking for updates. We are getting you the next version of Windows. Take a peek at some of the new things we think you'll love. This will take a while, maybe 30 or more minutes. So keep your PC on and plugged in. We'll restart your PC once everything is ready. So meet Windows 11, let's kind of look through. One place to start, start is your central place to find the apps, docs, and sites for all the things you do. At a glance, it's just one swipe, two widgets, featuring your photo, calendars, to-dos, and more. Apps you know and love. Quickly find the apps, games, and movies you want in the new Microsoft Store. Better together, connect with anyone on any device with chat from Microsoft Team. It's a snap. Optimize any screen with new snap layouts and groups to get it done faster. Adapts to you. Your PC is easier to use with voice typing, color themes, and other options. See you in a bit. If the update isn't done, it's okay to step away. We'll take care of the rest. Just be sure your PC is plugged in. And then it kind of goes back to the first page. So installing is 46% done. It's a bit warm over here and the fans have kicked in because I guess it's installing, but it's pretty quick. So that's what the backlit keyboard looks like. We can looks like adjust the brightness. That's for the display. So two, two different options. So you can turn it off, one, and then two. It's pretty bright. It's much more brighter than it shows in the camera. I really like the display. It's like really minimal amount of glare. It has that very nice anti-glare kind of look to it. My MacBook Pro 16 that came out this year, I have a anti-glare screen protector on it just to kind of turn the screen into a matte finish. So the screen doesn't end up showing what's happening in my background uh, with the display. Now it only shows it here as you can see when it's like dark black, but whenever, you know, you have this bluish part, like you don't see anything. Almost there. And there we go. I mean, look at that. I cannot see anything. Like it's barely, like there's no any glare or anything on it. Um, so this is it. All of this stuff are already here. It's crazy how noisy it is versus like my MacBook Pro 16. I mean, I could be throwing in like Final Cut Pro and stuff. It never really gets, I'd say as loud as this computer does. Um, but I mean, it is, it is really powerful. So it looks like we got the Disney Plus, Spotify, Xbox, Solitaire, a lot of the stuff here. Uh, let's kind of slip it maybe and then let's see okay wednesday 
9 March, okay. To sign in, scan your finger on the fingerprint reader. We have also the sign in options. There's the fingerprint, there's the password, and of course, we also have the pin. Maybe if I just end up... I'm just trying to get to that page where it told me about the security questions and things like that. Now we're stuck at a welcome screen, even though I did not type in the right pin or password. Okay, there we go. Password is incorrect. I'm not sure why it asked me for that, but let's try the fingerprint. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, so the fingerprint is working. Um, I'm just confused why it asked me for the security questions if there was no way to use them to recover things. Uh, let's kind of look at the camera. Let's kind of see uh, what the camera looks like. So it's not too bad, as you can see. It's actually pretty decent. Uh, but we also have the privacy cover right there. So that's kind of what it looks like when you have the privacy cover on. Um, there's also an LED right there. I don't know if you guys can see this right there. There's an LED letting you know the camera is on, in fact. Um, but yeah, you have that uh, privacy cover um, there just in case if you are if you don't still trust it kind of thing. Um, but yeah, camera, not too bad. It seems like it has like face tracking. So it's like kind of tracking the face. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, but other than that, guys, this was the quick unboxing and setup of the new Dell Inspiron 16 Plus. If you guys are new, consider subscribing.